Let's try this. That's a good start, though. All right, so what were you given as the intensity? 800 watts per square meter, and then we need our area. What area were we given? And what are the units on that? Oh, well, what area were we given?
So there are not 100 square centimeters in a square meter, there's 100 squared centimeters squared, in a meter squared. All right, so then when you're ready, what number should we put in here? Yeah, you could say that that's uh, 10,000, or you can just say it's 100 squared. So now you just use this equation here. Uh, power is area times intensity. And we figured out that the intensity was 800 in standard units and the area was 2 times 10 to the negative 4. Is this the number you got? Yeah. OK, good. And then, so they wanted for one second. So that's how much energy there is for one second also. So that's the word. 116 joules. And then they wanted how many photons for each photon. So you're right, we should think of this like a unit conversion. If we think of this like a unit conversion, we can get the answer. What's your answer? Six point four times ten to the seventh eight. What? Goes up. Yeah. Does this seem reasonable? Yeah, it should be a lot. It should be a lot because photons are tiny particles. There's tons of those. Okay. Well, you, uh, you you worked that out. You had some trouble with the units, but other than that, you, you worked everything out. That's good. Um, one thing that could have been a little more elegant. Maybe this is a matter of taste. Um, but what, the way I would have done here is I would have stuck with this. So this means 0.16 joules per second. And what were our target units? Our target units aren't really photons. Our target units are photons per second. They're really asking, they're not really asking about one second. They're asking how many photons per second. Is that right? How many, yeah, photons per second. They're not especially interested in just one second. So I would set up the unit conversion like this. Here's our starting units. We know the light is delivering 0.16 joules per second. And then we need to get rid of the joules and replace it with photons. And here's where we use this. You already figured out that each photon has 2.65. I guess we left out the 2 then. 2.65 times 10 to the negative 19 joules for one photon. This is pretty much exactly what you did. You just left out the per seconds down here. Um, so I actually, I would not actually turn the power into energy over here. I would just leave it as a power and do the new conversion at this point. All right, and then the joules cancel. 
and then you get the exact calculation you did. 0.16 divided by 2.65 times 10 to the negative 19, and that gives you the right answer that you already got. 6.04 times 10 to the 17, and now that we have the right units, which is photons per second. Okay. All right, but that's a little bit of a technicality. You really did uh, work this out to the right answer, so that's good. Okay, I think this flowchart is helpful for thinking through that. There are a lot of things that have to come together here. So one thing is to notice here, uh, we should label this correctly. What does this E represent? This is the E in one photon. It's not the total energy that's being delivered. That would be easy to get confused. It's not the total energy delivered. So when we write these formulas down, maybe it's very helpful to say this is E of a photon equals H times F of a photon. Maybe we should always write this with, in terms of photons so we don't forget this. This gives us the individual photon energies. 